Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Emily. This is my puppy Dexter. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the reasons why I chose to get a miniature schnauzer. So the first reason why I actually chose to get a miniature schnauzer was because where I live, you don't actually see many about. Um, so obviously I love the thought of having a dog that wasn't too popular and wasn't overcrowded in the area I live in. And to be honest, whenever anyone goes, what type of dog have you got? And I go, I've got a miniature schnauzer. They normally ask what one of them is. Um, obviously, when they see the photo of what one are, then they understand a bit more. But um, just by seeing the name, they don't actually have that connection to go, oh, I know one of them, what one of them dogs are. Um, so obviously, I like that idea when people go, what is that? And I'm like, search it up. You'll find out. Um, although at the minute with Dexter being 23 weeks old, he's actually 23 weeks old today, so he's getting such a big boy. Um, but yeah, people are actually mistaken him for a cockapoo. Now, he's not a cockapoo. He's looking at his phone, he just wants his phone. Now he wants my hand. That's really hurting. Um, so yeah, every single person I go, ah, oh, is it a cockapoo? I'm like, no. It's a miniature schnauzer. So the second reason why I actually chose to get a miniature schnauzer was the fact that they don't molt. They are actually hypoallergenic, which means that if you're actually allergic to uh, other dogs, then more than likely you're not actually going to be um, allergic to schnauzers. They aren't going to bother you. Now, it wasn't actually until the past year, but I've actually started looking into the miniature schnauzer breed more. I've always been drawn to miniature schnauzers from a young age, but just because every time I seen one, I just loved the way they looked. I didn't actually know much about them. So over this past year, I actually started doing some research and learning more about the breed. That's when I really started to be drawn to them more and actually want one for myself. Um, and obviously when I found out that they didn't molt and the fact that I wouldn't have dog hairs around the house was literally just amazing. And because they are hypoallergenic, which is great for people who are obviously allergic to dogs, um, I'm not exactly allergic to dogs. However, some short-haired dogs um, do cause um, sort of like a small rash on my skin. I get really itchy and irritated by it. So it's nothing huge, but obviously the fact that um, it's just now that are hypoallergenic and it basically crosses any issues off that I might have, win-win. And we're on to the third reason of why I told the miniature shows that, and I could tell you it is not because I want to be bit 24-7. But that's the stage where we're at. However, the third reason is because um, obviously I do like bigger dogs. However, the Mitchell Schnauzer was just a perfect fit because they're not a small dog. However, they're not a big dog. They're a medium dog. Um, so yeah, obviously Dexter is actually a pretty good size now, especially compared to when I brought him home at eight weeks old. However, he still has got some more growing to do. Um, and a lot of filling out to do because he's a bit of a skinny mini at the minute. Are you having fun? Can you not bite me hand? So the next reason why I actually chose to get a mistress now that was because they are known for their loving temperaments. They love to have that um, affection with, uh, with their owners, with their humans. And they just love to be around people constantly, which in Dexter's case, he definitely does. However, obviously each dog still has their little um, clicks about them, like my grandma also has a miniature schnauzer, Maze, and she loves to be, like she'll come and fall asleep on your knee, um, and she just loves to be cuddled constantly. Where in Dexter's case, he loves to play with you and have that interaction with you, but when it comes to nap time, you better not touch him because he'll just fall and leave with you. Um, so as soon as Dexter gets tired, he actually takes himself to um, the other corner of the city, so for example, this is my city here, so I'll sit there and um, when Dexter's done playing and he wants his own space to go to sleep, he'll literally go and sleep on his own little patch there. Thanks, Dexter. Um, and literally he'll curl up and go to sleep. Um, if you touch him or if you try and pick him up and put him on your knee, he'll just move yourself somewhere else and go to sleep straight away again. So you cannot touch him when he is asleep. However, he's still very, very affectionate. Um, and like he's trying to do now, he's trying to play, so he does love that interaction, as which is known to him and Josh knows as. And um, partly the reason why I wanted to pick one because I wanted that dog that um, 
obviously the dog that wanted to be with you, which everyone wants to be honest and dog, don't they? So another reason why I actually chose to get a magician I was out was the fact that they are such fast learners and they are very trainable dogs, um, which was exactly one of the things I was looking for. Obviously all dogs are trainable, but some breeds are just known to be fast learners compared to others. Now obviously every dog is still an individual, that is definitely not putting them into a uh, category and saying this is 100% how he's going to be. Um, obviously every dog can uh, mess up mess up that and be the complete opposite however looking for me dexter has proven that he is such a fast learner so he's 23 weeks old today and he knows how to sit lie down and give a paw obviously we are learning on all that stuff at the minute too but those are the three tricks that he's mastered and um, he doesn't command every single time i ask which is absolutely amazing so i learned how to sit first and he caught onto that really really easy that was done within a few days um to a really good standard and then i taught him how to lie down now he did struggle with the lie down more it was sort of one step forward two steps back kind of thing but now he's really really good with that one too and then his latest trick that he learned and that he's mastered is how to give a paw and it turns out that is actually his favorite trick to do now so why don't we actually show you some of the tricks that he can do Dexter. Boy. So I have actually got some of his little training treats here, which obviously they are just like minute because it means that he can then have a couple without putting on a ridiculous weight. <laughs> so obviously I haven't even asked him, but because I know that I have a treat, he's going to go through every single trick that he already knows to try and get the treat. So Dexter, sit. Yes, good boy. So I am actually using the yes command um, as his marker cue so he knows that he's done done the right job then. So Dexter, down. Good boy. Okay, sit. And give a pull. Pull. Good boy. Yes. Dexter, pull. Yes, good boy. So as you can see, he does that with ease um, and the paw is definitely his favourite trick. <laughs> so he's absolutely amazing at that. And my last point of why I chose to get a miniature schnauzer was because they are known to be highly energetic dogs. Obviously not overly energetic, but they are energetic dogs. Which again is something that I wanted for myself because I really wanted to push myself to get out and about and just do stuff and go for days out and you know bring my dog with me so my dog could also enjoy it and as you can tell Dexter absolutely loves getting out I've actually just gone on a long on a long line now just so he can go out and explore and we're just on this big field and there's nothing he likes more than just being out and about and sniffing and just enjoying life basically so I think I got a good match when I chose Dexter so there we have it. There was my first YouTube video, everyone. Um, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below, what breed of dog are you actually drawn to? Obviously, I was drawn to the miniature schnauzer and I was so, so lucky to get one. But I want to know what dog you really want. What is your dream dog? Let me know in the comments below. It would also mean... Dexter just pulling me this way. It would also mean so, so much to me if you would give this video a like. Um, and even subscribe if you want to see more of me and Dexter. Uh, honestly, I can't describe how much it would mean, so go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I hope to see you in the next video.